If you're looking for some of that suburb living, you're not quite wanting to live in the city, you're in for a treat today. We're over, we're heading into uh, Andover, Kansas. It's going to be in Butler County. You're going to be hard pressed to find anything under 200,000. I mean, uh, really, probably closer to like 250 and up. I'm not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying that uh, it's, they don't make it easy. We're jumping into it right now. Hey, if you're getting any value out of this, do us a solid like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever we kick out these videos each and every week. You got a question? Reach out, call, text, email, carrier pigeon, whatever you got to do to get that question answered. I'm talking, I'm helping people each and every day, and I love it. If you got a question, reach out. So we're over here in Andover, Kansas. Like I said, this is going to be in Butler County. This is going to be in one of the bigger suburbs, not bigger than Derby, but not uh, not too shabby. Like I said, like I have to keep saying, we're not steering you towards, we're not steering you away. We're just kind of giving you uh, the facts, we're giving you an idea what options you actually have around here. Speaking of Butler County, they have their uh, several of their community college locations here. Uh, was where I went to community college and whatnot. But out here, yeah, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have all the uh, conveniences that uh, Wichita has, but it's sandwiched right in between Wichita and uh, Augusta. So we're smack, it's smack, uh, smack dab just east of Wichita. So a lot of the amenities that it's lacking, like uh, Walmart, stuff like that, uh, it's super close. I mean, it's not really far at all. I think you're probably 15, maybe 10, 20 minutes away. But uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have your Walmart. This is gonna be your, your shopping, your restaurants, your uh, activities and whatnot. So I mean, it's it's bigger than it's bigger than some of these other suburbs, and the price point is going to be uh, quite a bit higher. I mean, you're probably looking closer to you know mid, and I, I really probably high high twos threes for sure and up but uh you get a little bit of everything here some city living a little bit of the rural living and whatnot um, like i said taking uh classes out here with the wife <clears throat> family friends um my folks work out here at the uh sherman williams plant we're not talking one of the paint stores we're talking one of the uh, the actual manufacturing plants that makes everything, but it's nice little it's a nice little mix. I mean, it's a, it's slightly a larger suburb, but you still kind of get that small town vibe a little bit. Um, home prices for sure are going to be quite a bit more, quite a bit more than some of the other surrounding uh, suburbs. But, I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong in Andover. And, like I said, you're close enough to East Wichita that, uh, I mean, you can, you got everything just about there. Um, Walmart, Sam's, Lowe's, uh, all the, all the restaurants, the eateries and whatnot. So, I mean, any, any shortcomings that, uh, <clears throat> that Andover might have, you know. 
going to be okay. I mean, you're you're within a short drive of just about anything you're really going to need. the local watering holes I've uh, frequented a time or two. To uh, Valero makes fans and whatnot. Yeah, Sherman Williams, this big old uh, prison looking complex. That's where the folks work. Big old place, make a ton of paint. Butler County, this is where I took several classes. Just uh, community college. Just pull in here real quick. Busy, busy. Certainly one of those spots where, you know, you gotta pay to play. Good schools, a lot of the people, a lot of people I know that live out here, you know, it's peaceful. Like I said, just about anything you're gonna need is pretty close. Like I said, you have Wichita just smack dab east of you. You had, uh, or East, you're smack dab pretty close to East Wichita and then uh, you have Augusta you want to head south you'll find Rose Hill so Andover Road here will turn to Butler Road which will turn into Rose Hill Road so you know This is uh, this is the same Andover that uh, was hit with the tornadoes not too long ago as well. So, for inquiring minds. We'll make sure and throw the map up with it so you have a better idea. But this is this is the main road for Andover. Let's see if we can show you a good neighbor to, a neighborhood or two. <clears throat> yeah, we're here, Crescent Lakes. Nice little neighborhood to check out.
is super quiet. Little, little uh, community. Huge, gorgeous homes, but man, just crazy but like I've been saying this this is gonna be one of those suburbs where homes are gonna cost quite a bit more than Wichita the taxes are also gonna be higher like I said this is Butler County this isn't Sedgwick County. Your taxes are going to be a smidge higher. And, you know, school uh, school school districts are pretty solid. I've heard pretty good things. People that we have out here, you know, that's one of those things. They love their, their school district. They're pretty proud. Yeah, we're still we're still working uh, suburbs east of uh, Wichita and whatnot. So this is another super super solid one. Like I said, we're not steering you towards, we're not steering you away. We just gotta keep telling you that. But this keeps you close to. You know, Hawker Beechcraft. This keep keeps you close to. I mean, this keeps you close to what Sam's, to Costco's for shopping if you need it. You know, like I said, th that stuff's gonna be in Walmart. It's not too far away. Not too far away. Plenty of other things to do. Um, if you're a fan of pickleball, outdoor activities, you can go to, um, oh man, what's that place called? I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Continuing our drive in Andover. Dollar, 
areas. Another one of the uh, nice little communities. They have their own little golf course, all that good stuff. But I mean, you're talking way, way higher. Way, way higher than <laughs> what we were, the two, three hundred we were talking about. This is one of those well-established neighborhoods, you know. Like I said, they got, they got their own golf course and the nine, so, you know. You're, there wasn't uh, nothing else I'd rather do on a Thursday afternoon. Go check out some uh, suburbs. Go check out some neighborhoods. Some older, older homes, well maintained. like one of those little pockets kind of separate and that's the thing about about Wichita and the surrounding areas around here you know there's a lot of little pocket neighborhoods you never know what you might find I mean I can't tell you how many times I've drove through Andover And I've never been over here in this little pocket. That's just me being real. I mean, look at that. try to make our way a little bit closer to uh, back to Kellogg kind of show you the other side let me make my way back over there and we'll uh, resume this thing we made our way back over towards uh, Kellogg US 54, 400, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, golf courses. I mean, you got most of most of everything you need here. And for one little bit that you know, you can't get here. It's super, super close. I mean, Wichita's not very far at all. We're heading down this way. Heading south. Kind of, and still, yeah, it's been kind of growing into its own even more yet it's crazy to think you know when I was here a lot more going to school and you know dropping 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 the folks off over at work and whatnot how different it was you know even 10 years ago but I mean we'll, we'll 
we'll check out one more little neighborhood. Teradine probably wasn't a good, uh, a good uh, representation. I mean, most people are probably not in the, not in the market for, you know, half a million dollar home or more. down this way, you know, this is probably a little bit closer to what we were talking about. And this is on the south side of uh, Andover. Super quiet little neighborhood, you know. See, I mean, you got a little variety. some options Nice little view. Got you over there as well. Reflection Lake. Nice little, another nice little uh, community. They're building out here too, so I mean, room, plenty of room for new homes and whatnot. I mean, it looked like, uh, damn. MCA tuck back here too. It's all right. Not too shabby. It looks like they had uh, what four or five houses that they were slapping together. So I mean, uh, plenty of room for expansion on over here. Super, super quiet. homes, all kinds of stuff.
let me tell you, maybe this is something more your speed. Feel free to reach out. Hey, if it's not, you know what? That's okay too. That's all right. I'm not gonna know unless you reach out. So let, let me know. Do us a solid like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. So you're notified when we kick these videos out each and every week. You got a question, reach out, call, text, email, carrier pigeon. Do what you gotta do to get that question answered. I'm here to help. Until the next one, guys, we'll catch you later.